Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've started off with my brows and a little bit of my Master Prime from Maybelline. Now I'm taking my two foundations from Maybelline in Warm Honey and Coconut and I'm just applying this on my face with my 48 bronzer brush from Sephora. It's a very nice dense brush um, so you can use liquids on it and it applies very evenly. So I'm just making sure that I get my hairline and my forehead and also I'm applying this on my neck as well. I have a lot of discoloration from scleroderma so I just want to make this an even look. Okay. Now I'm going in with my Pro Conceal Concealer. It's the yellow corrective concealer and I like this better than most flesh tone concealers. I feel like it gives a natural glowy highlight. So that's why I'm going to use this one today. So I'm applying this under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, between my eyebrows, underneath my nose, on my chin, and below my cheek contours. So I'm going in with my Beauty Blender and I'm using my ALF Makeup Set Makeup Mist and Set Spray. And it was only $3 from my grocery store. Awesome product. And I'm just going to go in and blend all of these highlighted areas. And um, it's usually kind of hard to get in my eyes, that's why I have to use the mirror right there. But you wanna make sure that you bl blend your lines and edges until they disappear. You don't wanna look like you're wearing a mask. And you just want this to look very flawless and very evenly blended. So I'm gonna be blending out my chin right now and I'm going to finish blending the rest of my, my jawbone highlight and also the bridge of my nose. Okay, and then just like that, now I'm going to take a thin brush and I'm going in with my powder from Bare Minerals in the shade Well Rested. This is going to be my highest, my brightest highlight and I like to focus this in the inner corner of my eyes and underneath my eyes. Um, I don't necessarily have um, dark circles but I my eyes are deep set so I like that underneath my eyes on my chin and also on the bridge of my nose and between my eyebrows. So I'm just going to make sure that I blend the edges a little bit so that when I go in with my transition highlight that's closer to my skin shade, they blend very evenly. And I'm just blending that right now between my eyebrows. I'm also going to use this as my brow bone highlight. Um, I like, I really love this powder and it's like my new favorite thing. Right, and I'm just going to wing this out in the corners a little bit, give my cheekbones a little life. And this is what the packaging for my um, Bare Minerals powder looks like. Now I'm using my Real Techniques brush with my CoverGirl Queen Natural Hue Bronzer in Ebony. And I'm going to be contouring my cheeks with this powder. It's my go-to contouring powder. Um, I'm also going to use this on my forehead under my lip and along my jawline. This is a nice contour color for darker women because it doesn't look ashy. It looks really nice and warm and it gives a good glow. So now I'm going in with my B BH uh, blush and contour palette and um, I'm using the top two colors in this palette to blend my highlight with my contour so it's a more even um, transition between these two colors. I want it to be a nice gradient and to look very blended. So I'm blending those anywhere I have highlight, highlighted areas. And I'm also going to apply a little bit of a highlight underneath my contour so that pops even more. Now I'm going in with my L'Oreal True Match Mineral Powder in the shade Soft Sable. 
and I'm just going to buff everything together and make sure everything is very well blended. Now for my blush, I'm going in with my CoverGirl Classic Blush and Ice Plum. This is a really nice blush. I really like it because you can go overboard, but it's so subtle that it doesn't really come off very harsh. This is my Lorac Tantalizer Baked Bronzer, and I'm using a little bit of setting spray with this to get a very intense highlight on my cheekbones. And then once the brush is dried, I'm going to go back with the dry powder and blend it evenly so it's not a really bolded effect. I'm going to put this on my cupid's bow as well as the, the um, ball of my nose. And now I'm adding that dry powder right now. And now I'm going in with my NAC Mineralized Skin Finish and I'm adding this to the apples of my cheeks. I'm also adding this as a brow bone and tear duct highlight. I like those areas to be extremely highlighted and I'm just gonna take my blush brush and blend it. So now I'm using my Profusion um, Beauty Adventure Palette and I'm gonna be using this nice lime green with a fluffy um, eyeshadow brush and I'm applying this um, in my crease and stopping right before my brow bone. I'm also going to be applying this color right underneath my eye, my lash line and um, bringing the color out in the corners a little bit more. So I'm just going to make sure that it is nice and even on both sides. I did not use a primer with these colors which is awesome. Uh, you can if you want but they are very high highly pigmented and this palette was only five dollars at Walgreens so you can't beat that um, so I'm just going to make sure everything's even and um, now I'm going in with my teal from that same palette and I'm applying this on my eyelids and I'm going to bring this color a little bit above my crease because I have a really tiny eyelid so I feel like my eye looks look more balanced when I bring the color just above my eyelid. And I'm just making sure I've got an even coat of the color in both eyes. And now I'm going in with my professional eyeliner brush from e.l.f. And I'm going to take that same teal color and I'm going to bring that under the lower part of my lash line, my lower lash line, just so that this is a very, um, very well put together look. I'm also going to take this brush and go along um, my upper lash line um, and deepen the color a little bit more because it's still just a little bit faded. right there and um, right there just like that and now I'm gonna take this lovely purple and I'm gonna be bringing this nice warm shade into the mix and so I'm adding this into my tear ducts for just a nice pop of color and I'm making sure that I've got the color on there nice and bright but also that I'm blending it so it doesn't look like it's very harsh and unblended you really don't want that with eyeshadow. So I'm going to repeat that step on the other eye. And um, I feel like it's looking pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and take another brush and I'm going to go into my Beauty Adventure palette and I'm going to get this nice vanilla color and I'm going to take this and apply it onto my brow bones. It's a little bit darker than the highlight that I already had. And then I'm going to apply this nice gold as a transition color between the lime green and my, high, my um, brow bone highlight. I'm also going to be taking this um, golden yellow and using it as a transition between the green and my skin color, my flesh tone highlight underneath my eyes. So just right underneath the green. 
Okay, and that's it for my eyeshadow. Now I'm taking my L'Oreal Smoldering Eyeliner, Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner, and I'm going to apply this on my lower lash line. I'm also going to tight line. So I'm applying this to my upper lash, and my upper waterline on both eyes just for a more intense look. Um, tight lining definitely helps your lashes to look very intense and very thick. So now I'm going in with my NYC liquid liner and I'm going to nicely wing out my liner. This is a thin winged line. Now for my handy dandy eyelash curlers. I'm gonna use these because I have naturally long lashes. I use lengthening mascara so I don't feel the need for lashes but if you'd like them, go for it. So now I'm going in with my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and I'm just going to make sure that I wiggle this to the base of my lashes on the top and a great tip for your lower lashes to get them to look just as long and as fierce as your top lashes is to tap the brush into your eyelashes instead of brushing it through. You're able to build up more product and it's just nicer. So now I'm taking this lovely blue color um, from RK by Kiss in the shade Pool Party. This matte lipstick was only $2 and it was totally worth every single penny. Um, I'm just going to make sure that I got everything lined up and even and this is a great vibrant color and uh, this is the final look. This is my Tropical Paradise inspired tutorial. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.